So if you guys watch a lot of YouTube videos on Magic the Gathering, you already may have heard of Crazy Man Darium from Darium CCGs, or maybe you know their series Card Shop Life. Well, he's got a new series called Profit or Loss. And uh, great guy, he's always helped me out. So in an effort to, uh, he made it so easy for me, I could not refuse. This box of original Modern Masters, we're going to use a current market value of 365 ish dollars um for profit or loss essentially it's a gambling type series just like many of us pack crackers uh like to do many late nights at pre-releases and stuff like that i've been tempted into buying random modern masters packs so we are going to open half of this box and try to get back $182.50 worth of value, okay? For for people that have a little extra money, and this is something they do, Original Modern Masters has a ton of $50 cards, including, obviously, Tarmogoyf is uh, well over 100, Sword of Fire and Ice, Arcbound Ravager, Aether Vile, Blood Moon, Doubling Season, Dark Confidants, down to 30, I guess. Glimmer Void's almost 40, Chalice of the Void. So with half this box... We're going to have, it's not Goy for Bust, but it's multiple expensive Chase Rare or Bust. So let's get this going. And you'll be able to find the second half of this video over on Darium CCG's channel, which I will link in the description below. God, it's been so long since I've opened Modern Masters, I couldn't say no. I even tried to say, oh, are you sure you don't want me to just open the entire box? <clears throat> Oh man, I'm really excited to open this. It's been a long time. And so I have to remember, I think it's 24 booster packs. So I have to pick 12. So these two Lucy's I think we're gonna take. I'm a middle row kind of guy. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. That's it. Uh, 12 should be 12 left for Darium. Hopefully I have the best 12, obviously. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, Darium, there's your 12. We're going to put this off. Obviously, I've plucked all the value with my incredible RN Jesus luck, and we are going to get to work on... Trying to recoup $182.50 of our... This is what the investment is. So the idea is profit or loss. Can we make a penny? All right, here we go. Pack one. Oh, my God. Just hit that Tarmogoyf. Just hit it. Just hit... Come on, HQ. You can do it. All right, here we go. Kitchen Finks, that's a few bucks. Relic of Progenitus has probably crept back up. Cross and Grip is not bad. And a Doubling Season. Woo, that's a nice pack. And a Foil Grape Shot. That might be worth something, too. That was a strong pack. Kitchen Finks, uh, Doubling Season is currently 40 bucks, and there's probably another $10 in Uncommons there. So that's a $50 pack, let's call it. Although Kitchen Finks maybe is down, but I have a feeling it's back up. I will uh, add it up on the on the screen, but uh, starting off the 50 bucks, pretty good. Uh, still got quite a bit left. Now the number on the screen will be accurate. So we have etched oracle, <clears throat> sudden shock, epocarasite, and demigod of revenge. That's probably a miss. And a foil. Mother Dust Changeling. That does that feels like a miss too. But I could be wrong. I can't I don't have one of those minds that could just memorize price. Like I talked to Zemet. The dude knows like the price off offhand of like every major magic card ever. <laughs> and if not, he can probably guess exactly within a, a reasonable percent. So start off strong. Second pack was kind of a dud. Spore Source Thalid. Desperate Ritual. Narco Amoeba and Revel Arc. Mm. And a foil Street Wraith. Okay. So that first pack would have been a hit. If you stopped at that first pack, that would have been nice. What would you have paid? 24. 
Yeah, you would have paid maybe 15 bucks a pack or something like that. So that would have been pretty nice. But we're here to win big. It's win big or go home. Vivid Marsh. My my piles. My piles are all messed up, dude. Sorry. You know, I'm going to take them off screen so they don't trigger your OCD. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm trying to be serial. Okay, Marsh Flitter. Uh, Tarashi's Grass. Sarkhan Vol. Okay, well, we got a Mythic. It's not the... Uh, Necessarily the best mythic, but it's still a good one. Foil green card. Valid. All right. So Sarkhan Bowl, I don't think is way up there, but it's still a Planeswalker, so it's got to probably be worth a few bucks. What we're looking for is, well, I guess not. It's worth less than a pack. Pack price is about 20 bucks right now. Okay. Doobie, doobie, doobie. Now we're getting down to like. <laughs> it's not starting out great. But a single Tarmogoyf would probably bring us. A single Tarmogoyf would probably just take us right over. Sandsower. Death Rattle. Trump the Domains. And Scion of Una. A foil careful consideration. Uh oh. Maybe I've maybe I've plucked all the empty packs off the top to help Darium out. Maybe I feel bad for him. <laughs> There's a kitchen finks, okay. That's usually you know, right now hundred percent of packs that we've opened that had kitchen finks were fifty dollars pa fifty dollar packs. Mirror Retriever, Esperzoa, and Maelstorm Pulse. And a foil Raven's Crime. Fortunately, I'm gambling with his money. <laughs> so thanks, Darium. Hopefully, he'll stop by and comment on the video, and you guys can check it out. All right. Marsh Flitter. Tar Pitcher. Pot Carasite. Oh. <laughs> Green Rares, man. Get me every time. Woodfall Primus. Bummer. Giant Dust Wasp. Bummer. Okay, that's, uh, we've got five lottery tickets left. Each pack we open with no value puts more and more uh, stress, more and more significance on having to hit that goif. You don't have to hit Spell Snare, that's all right. I know Alex is looking for one of those, I think. I think. Sudden Shock. Vivid Meadow and Tarmogoy. Uh, Blood Moon. All right. Okay. 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 Blood Moon's a nice hit. And Foil Blood Moon. Foil Glacial Ray. Okay. All right. Well, so far Blood Moon, two Kitchen Finks, and that doubling season. So we're just adding it up in my head. Definitely, probably less than a hundred, and we've opened. More than half of the pack, so we need to hit. We need to hit, like, back-to-back. -back. Come on, baby. Come on. Dad needs a foil goyf. <laughs> Cloud Goat Ranger. Stir the Pride. Trigon Predator. And Death Cloud. Foil Avacyn, Avian Changeling. Looks like Darium is going to get the Foil Rare. So, well, he's likely to. So hopefully that helps. We'll put our two totals together. And you know what? If together we win, then that's worth it. Mine Funeral. All my piles are freaking you guys out in it. All right, hold on. Thundercloud Shaman. Stir the Pride. Engineered Explosives. That seems okay. I think that's up there. Um, I'll have to look. It's not. Oh, maybe not. Um, I thought it was kind of expensive. Guess not. Ah, uh, it's pretty close. 20 bucks. Okay. That pack's about a break even. And we have a Foil Thundering Giant. I'm going to just... <laughs> so that pack was a push. We have two packs to go. Make sure you check out his channel for part two of this box where hopefully 
a Goyf will be hiding. All right, so two packs left. Now we're basically down to Goyf or Foil Mythic. Foil like Vendillion, or like a Foil Vendillion Click or something like that. To, uh... I think the foil is green, so I'm gonna have some problems. Thirst for knowledge. Executioner's capsule. Esper Zoa and, and Cryptic Command. Okay, that's a nice hit. Okay, we're finishing strong. And the foil is green. Dun 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 dun. And it's not a creature. <laughs> but a cryptic command's a good hit. Moldervine Cloak. It's going to be close. We're going to need... Um, that's 25 bucks, so 20 and 25 back to back. I'm guessing for us to hit break even, we're going to have to hit hot. We're going to have to hit heavy here. Certainly the middle was not good for me. Thirst for Knowledge. Vivid Grove. Reach of Branches. An Aether Sworn Cannonist. Save me foil rare. Spore Sour. Sour Thalid. Well, without adding up, it looks like we fell a little bit short, but we got pretty close. This box was pretty fun. Make sure you go check out part two over on Darium's channel. What's up, and thanks for watching this video. I produce all different kinds of content, so if you haven't yet, click on my face to subscribe. If you want to watch more videos, I've got some sweet playlists, including this one, where I open up every fat pack ever created. I've also got this one over here where I open just about anything vintage and old and expensive for your enjoyment. And all this is made possible by the awesome backers at our Patreon, which is linked in the description of every video. Hop on over there, check it out, see if it's something you might want to consider. If not, sit back, enjoy, and I'll still love you.